That's why I don't need or want any kind of big heavy tripod. Hi guys, my name is Matti Sulanto and I'm a photographer. And in this video I want to talk about this Sirui Traveler X tripod. As you probably know if you follow this channel, I'm traveling at the moment. And when I was just about to leave from Finland, I got a message from Sirui. They asked me if I want to try their super lightweight carbon tripod. And their timing couldn't have been more perfect. I needed a lightweight the compact tripod for this trip. So I decided to accept this and now I've been using this tripod on several occasions in many different situations and I'm ready to share my opinion. I don't often use a tripod for photography because it's cumbersome and I don't often do long exposure photography that requires a tripod. But for video it's almost a must, especially if I work alone. I need a solid support for, for my camera and I have to be able to place my camera wherever I want. So this is, for me, this is more for video than photography. This is a video tripod and it comes with a small video head as standard. But you can swap the head to a ball head, for example, that is a little bit better for photography. But remember that it comes with a video head and if you want to use a ball head or any kind of other type of head, you have to purchase that separately. This included video head is good for tilting and panning and they both look so much better when you do those with a video head instead of handheld panning or tilting. You can create so smooth and steady tilts and pans with a video head compared to handheld footage. But of course you can also lock this head to any position for static shots. I happen to have this Sirui K10 Mark II ball head and I decided to bring this along for this trip for photography. This video head is okay for photography too, but a ball head is so much better. This works fine with this tripod, but if I was buying a head for this specific tripod, I would probably buy a ball head that is one or two sizes smaller than this. And here are some things that I like about this Sirui Traveler X tripod. It's very compact and lightweight. It weighs under one kilogram with the included uh, video head. And it's also surprisingly sturdy and stable for such a small and compact tripod even when it's fully extended. And I also like that this goes high enough when it's fully extended. It goes high enough so I can film myself standing up like this and the camera is approximately at the same level with my head. And that is essential to me when I'm making these YouTube videos. I also like this very simple locking mechanism. Only one twist and you can extend the whole leg. But you can also control these sections individually by turning them if you want to extend just uh, certain sections of the leg. I also like the build quality. All the materials look first class and of course carbon fiber always looks really nice. But everything works as it's supposed to work and uh, the fit and finish look premium in my opinion. I already mentioned this goes high enough but this also goes almost to ground level when you uh, remove the lower part of the center column. And here are some things that I don't like about this Sirui Traveler X tripod. The locking mechanism is really convenient and nice but sometimes it can be a little bit sticky and the leg does not extend without some extra help. It's not a major problem but it's very annoying when that happens. I would also prefer a ball head instead of this video head. I get it, this is a video tripod and I mostly use this for videos but my videos are mostly static shots. I film myself standing or sitting or whatever and a ball head would be more versatile for me. I could use it for photography and video. But if you are a dedicated video shooter and you need panning and tilting, then of course this video head is uh, better and makes more sense. And one more thing, this tripod is not easy to level or 
the camera is not easy to level. I have to level it by using the legs, extending and collapsing the legs. And that can be a bit of trial and error and it can take a long time to level the camera. Especially for panning shots, you'll want to have your camera perfectly leveled. Otherwise your pans are going to look like this. You'll start with a perfectly level camera, but once you start panning your camera slowly tilts one way or the other. And this is a small travel tripod, I understand that, but still I wish they would have uh, figured out some other way to level this. Maybe put a, a small, like a ball, under the video head like in those big professional uh, video tripods or something like that. No product is perfect and my experiences with this Sirui Traveler X tripod so far are mostly positive. And I think if you are looking for a compact lightweight travel tripod, I think this is definitely worth a look. I'm going to put a link down below, it's an affiliate link, so if you plan to buy this, please use the link and you'll support my channel at the same time. But I never want to push you to buy something that you actually don't need. The link is there just for your convenience. Thank you so much for watching and uh, I'll definitely see you in the next video.